Hello, I'm Bryony Harris at Quant Mines International in Lisbon. I'm joined now by Alexei Kondratiev, the Managing Director of Financial Markets at Standard Chartered. Thank uh, you. Why don't you just start by trying to explain to us about quantum computing? Well, uh, quantum computing can be viewed as a type of ultimate parallel uh, computing, uh, exploring uh, quantum mechanical uh, principle <coughs> of superposition. So in uh, classical computing, we have uh, classical bits, uh, binary digits, that form a two-state system of zeros and ones. And in uh, quantum computing, instead of classical bits, we have quantum bits, uh, or qubits, uh, that can be in a superposition of uh, zero and one states. It means that uh, we can explore a lot of possible paths simultaneously, and this gives us the power of quantum computing. And so why is it so very important then? Well, it's important uh, because uh, quantum computing can solve problems not solvable using classical computing, uh, where we have to run uh, simulations that are not feasible on uh, classical digital computers. For example, uh, simulation of complex quantum mechanical systems like molecules, which is very important in pharmaceutical and medicine and chemical industries. And also there are many other advantages where uh, par uh, extreme parallelism of quantum computing is very efficient. So in your view, how far off do you think we are from widespread usage of quantum computing? Uh, there is a lot of research going on in quantum computing space now. Um, a lot of uh, quantum technology companies, probably all major quantum all major technology companies now heavily invest into quantum technologies, very often in partnership uh, with large financial institutions. Um, so I think um, uh, um, the age of quantum computing is coming, and we are not that far from uh, widespread usage of quantum computing uh, in, in real life, mm. probably closer to what, uh, what we expect. As you say, many organizations and businesses are now partnering, and I believe your company partners with NASA. Can you tell us a little bit about that? That's right. Uh, Standard Chartered has partnership with NASA USRA, the University Space Research Association, uh, where we conduct joint uh, research on portfolio optimization using quantum computing technology. And we, uh, we are very happy with this partnership. It uh, allows us to learn a lot about uh, quantum computing and we believe that uh, Standard Chartered can become a pioneer of uh, various applications of quantum, uh, quantum computing technologies in finance, which should give us uh, a competitive advantage over time. So what are you hoping the end result of that partnership is going to be? I very much expect that uh, we can build uh, uh, institutional knowledge of quantum computing within our organization. Uh, and uh, we will have chance to try uh, various quantum computing technologies over time. And, and then, uh, once we try these new technologies on a number of, pro uh, of problems, on a number of projects, uh, then we can clearly have much uh, better understanding where we can use them uh, to hopefully our competitive advantage. And have you had any interesting results so far? Uh, we definitely do have some initial results which are very promising. Uh, we managed to solve a uh, much larger portfolio optimization problem that uh, was uh, <coughs> solved before uh, by uh, other firms trying to use quantum computing technologies, especially quantum annealers. Uh, and as I mentioned, the results are very encouraging and uh, we hope to continue our research and uh, get more results in the future. Alexei Kondratiev, thank you very much. Thank you.